369 and it must have worked because the man has been released from the Brooklyn Metropolitan Detention Center. He ain't going home to Sarah for Thanksgiving just yet, they're just keeping him safe from the Bloods and the Crips. His album, it's also still on hold for obvious reasons. Now Pierce Morgan, he got put in his place by Ariana Grande, and then he had some creepy old man reply via Twitter. Justin Bieber, he threw some love and shade at Aaron Carter, and uh, your man Skrillex, well, he had to pay a fan $4.5 million. Also, all your favorite YouTubers, they're celebrating Thanksgiving. All this and more in just a second. I'm in the hospital. You lie so much to send the location. Number one. We've already filmed this, but the audio wasn't working. So this this is times du. That's that's right. Du. Du. French for two. <laughs> What's going on, fam? I read the comments from the last video. You guys don't want me to say that anymore. It's your boy Michael McCrudden, and welcome back to another episode of Famous News. Thanks to all of you who have tuned in. Thanks for the subscribers. Thanks to the comments, and thanks for the love especially the post notification squad. Remember that tomorrow I'm going to be going live for the first time ever, and you guys can ask me anything you've ever wanted to ask. I'm actually a little nervous. It's gonna be very candid. I've never done anything like this before. It's also super exciting. I get to know more about you guys, so I'm looking forward to that. All right, let's get into the news. So things are looking better for 6 9 because the man has reportedly been released from federal prison. We went to the Federal Bureau of Prisons website and we looked up Daniel Hernandez. His inmate number is 86335-054, in case you wanted to know. Get that, no, 169, they couldn't give, you know, they really should have. Anyway, he's been listed as released from the prison as of yesterday. Now don't get too excited, the man ain't ready to go home for Thanksgiving. They just wanna keep him safe because while he was locked up in Gen Pop, well, there was all sorts of gang members, both Crips and Bloods, who were threatening his life. We gotta keep the man safe. Now he's been moved to a facility that typically houses those willing to work with the feds. Some might call this snitching, but you know, inside his life was on the line and he's got a hell of a lot more to lose than most. You know what I mean? It's also been announced that his album, Dummy Boy, well, the release date, which was gonna be like November 23rd, it's been postponed. Lots of celebs have been commenting on this arrest, both good and bad. Nicki Minaj, she decided to send some love via Instagram. She stated, for reasons beyond music, the record company will hold off putting his project out for now. Danny, I love you and I'm praying for you, your mother, daughter, and her mom during this time. I, for one, am happy to see that the man is gonna be released. It looks like it's moving in that direction. His lawyer also is speaking very confidently. I think that's really good stuff. It's good for the internet. Now, moving on to other breaking news, it was a wild night on Twitter with an unlikely versus going on between Ariana Grande and old man Pierce Morgan. The man, he was uh, he was complaining about Ellen drooling over man's bodies during International Man's Day, but uh, he can't even compliment a woman on her legs. He gets outed. Well, he's since uh, tweeted out a comparison between a Lil Mix photo shoot and one from the Dixie Chicks taken years before. And uh, well, then he caught some slack from none other than Ariana Grande's mother before her young daughter chimed in. Now, Ariana is not the type of girl you want to mess with. She's like tiny, but packs a big punch. With that ponytail tied back so tight, she scares me. After standing up for her fellow woman and female empowerment in general, she basically shut Pierce down. She stated, Pierce Morgan, I look forward to the day you realize there are other ways to go about making yourself relevant than to criticize young, beautiful, successful women for everything they do. I think that'll be a beautiful thing for you and your career or what's left of it. Oh, see what I'm saying? Victoria Justice. Ah. I don't know why that may, means anything, but it worked for me. <laughs> she also found a photo of him posing nude, and all of a sudden, I got the heebie-jeebies. There's actually a photo of me in a similar spread that will one day probably resurface. I feel like this is me in the future, and then some other kid's gonna be tough. Anyway, let's move on. Next to join the party was Pierce Morgan's son, Spencer, and he was just pissed off that this now would f***ed up any chance he could have ever had with Ariana Grande. Whatever. All right, next we got another Twitter exchange that caught my eye, this one between Aaron Carter and Justin Bieber. A fan, he asked Aaron Carter why he never reached the same level of success as Justin Bieber. And uh, well, he was quick to reply. I've been in this industry before he was born, I've had harder times and always bounce back. No, I'm not Justin Bieber, I'm Aaron Carter. I'm also in construction, I paved the way. These kids have never paid me homage. Is it homage? Homage. Homage, sounds French. Now Bieber, he replied, quickly, out of nowhere. It's funny because you think Bieber's too big to actually see the stuff you post on him, but apparently he sees it all. He stated, 
Aaron Carter, I had your album when I was little and bumped the song Aaron's Party. I was like seven. If you need a hype man, I got you. From there on out, the beef or the whatever, it was squashed. Although Aaron kept at it, he said that Bieber's inspired his next upcoming project. And uh, it was crickets on Justin Bieber's end. He just, he had said enough. A Skrillex fan was awarded 4.5 million for suffering a post-concert stroke. You know, back in 2014, Skrillex jumped off stage while performing at an LA theater and he landed on Jennifer Faisal. Faisal? Who? We think her name's Faisal. Well, she uh, she suffered a stroke due to her injuries. And now this cost, it'll be split between Skrillex himself, also his touring company and the venue. I myself, once upon a time, was a massive Skrillex fan. I used to drive around all summer long blasting his albums. I actually feel like Skrillex got off easy. I feel like he's caused more than just a stroke. You know what I mean? That's not, that's not shade, it's a joke. Kinda. Our American friends in the South are celebrating Thanksgiving. Jimmy Fallon and Jerry Seinfeld, they had an amazing sketch to celebrate Jerry's visit to the show. Take a look. Thank you for doing the monologue. I'll do the monologue. This is great. Pull yourself together. Let's go and do it. I'm dancing. Stop eating. I am. That bit really reminds me of Kramer's Kenny Chicken. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, stop it. Uh, we got YouTubers celebrating Thanksgiving. First off, we got my boy CJ So Cool. He kept it simple. Happy Thanksgiving. DJ Academics, happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Been a hell of a year. Lots of ups and downs, but still got to find a few things in life you are thankful for and appreciate it. Hope y'all have a good day. DJ Academics is a YouTuber, right? I think that's, that's fair. Now, we actually couldn't find a lot of YouTubers posting about Thanksgiving. Nothing from Jake Paul, nothing from Shane Dawson. So we dug up some from uh, from traditional Hollywood stars. We got Kris Jenner, we got John Cena, and we got world star hip hop. Thanksgiving and Black Friday are the funniest combo ever. People go from being thankful to body slamming each other for some TV sets. No joke there. Definitely look forward to some future videos us talking about the craziest videos from Black Friday. Every year it happens. All right, let's move on to what's trending on YouTube. Now, first off, it's crazy to me all the videos I'm about to talk about. They're all under 1 million views at the time of this recording. It really goes to show you that YouTube's currently going through some growing pains. We have the 1975 who have nabbed the top spot with their music video for Sincerity is Scary. Now, this is an English pop rock band. They're from Manchester. The band consists of Maddie, Adam, Ross, and George. I got a feeling we'll be doing it before they were famous on them. Apparently, they've been around for years, and it looks like they're giving it a big push in America. They're signed to Interscope under Universal. They got their hands on the Hollywood soundstage for this video, am I right? I feel like that's uh, a very expensive shoot. Um, looks like they're going to be doing some big things, so I'm looking to keep an eye on them. We have Lele Pons and Atina, what's her name? Itana. Itana. Ooh, these two lovely ladies put out a telephone remix. Now it's all in Spanish, so I got no idea what the hell these girls are singing about. I just watch for the visuals. We do have a Spanish channel we could do a Before They Are Famous on Atina, if that's something you guys want. I definitely shouldn't host it because I can't even pronounce her name. Kim Kardashian's visit to the Ellen Show where she gave out massive checks to those affected by the California fires, it has pulled in some serious views. Also, Kim's out there looking like a snack. So that you guys can, you know, begin to pick up the pieces, you know? I wasn't even looking at the check, I was just looking at Kim. It's funny to me to see her on the Ellen show because the first time she sat down there, I believe they were talking about her sex tape fiasco. She truly now has turned into a different person. She's like a first lady like lady. And God, she looks amazing doing what she does. Which is what, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> Moving on to another trending video that caught my eye, Markiplier, he's feeling down. Let's hear what he had to say. I don't know. I feel like I'm not living up to my potential, but at the same time, it's not really down in terms of like, it's impacting my day-to-day -day life. It's just making me think. God, his voice is mesmerizing. It's like spreading warm butter for your ears. Does that make sense? Uh, Mark, he wanted to connect with his audience. He wanted to discuss where he's at and what he's going through. And he says it helps him, you know, organize his thoughts speaking with his fans. What an audience he has, what a career he's built. 22 million subscribers and 10 billion views. Absolute legend. All right, moving on to who to follow. Now, famous news, this show, it's still in its infancy, but it's crazy how quickly word has gotten out. And you guys are really enjoying the shout outs. I used to get, you know, like I get emails, I get DMs. But now after a 12 hour shift, I go home to hundreds of DMs. Now, some of you guys, you sent me unclickable links or emails. You're just looking to chat. You know, I'm doing two shows a day now. So help me help you. 
Uh, I did get a pretty heartwarming DM from a Detroit rapper. The guy's name's Billy Davis. He said his message is to spread positivity and good through a dark light of anxiety and depression. You can check out his songs, Last Goodbye and Tough Life. Uh, I know how big a shout out would have been for me when I was getting my career off the ground, so I'm happy to be spreading the love. Finally, on the come up. I think this is one of my favorite segments. Okay, these two ladies we briefly talked about in yesterday's video. Uh, Takashi, he's got two baby mamas that are exotic dancers. I didn't point to Jade and Batty G as those women, but we do know those are some strippers he's been hanging out with. Okay, fine, they're not even strippers, they just work at a strip club. They're bartenders. They're also sisters. Can you believe that? They work at Angel's Strip Club and apparently they got into some beef with Cardi B. Jade, she was rumored to have hooked up with Offset, but all parties have denied this. Now these are definitely two girls to keep an eye on. Give them a follow. You won't, uh, you won't be disappointed. I've actually reached out to both of them, hoping that we can collaborate on their Before They Are Famous. Mm, talk about perks, people. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap this one up here. If you're happy about the news with Takashi being released, be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow for our live version of me sitting down with you. I don't know if it's a famous news or whatnot. I'll be sitting at this desk looking to talk to you guys, answer all your questions. I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, that's it for us. I'll see you guys in another video. Boom! They told me not to make that boom noise anymore. It's bad for the audio.